In the series of videos, we have been discussing the translation basics, like enzymes and factors in translation for which the link is given in the description. Now in this video, we will be discussing about the translation in prokaryotes in detail, where we will explain the pre-initiation step first, that is the charging of tRNA. First of all, we will see what are the steps in translation. We divide it into four steps. First is the pre-initiation step. Second is the initiation step. Third is the elongation step. And fourth one is the termination step. And here in this video, we will be discussing the pre-initiation step first. Pre-initiation step is the step before we start the actual translation. Here in this step, we see the formation of amino acid tRNA, which is formed through amino acylation reactions. The amino acylation reaction is followed by the transfer of amino acyl AMP to tRNA. In this diagram, we have the tRNA structure, which has different arms and one of them is acceptor arm, aka amino acid acceptor arm. On the 3' prime end, it has got CCA sequence, as shown in the diagram. So the last nucleotide is the adenine on 3' prime end. And it's here where the amino acid binds, as shown in the animation. It's actually the amino acyl group that binds here. And we get the amino acyl tRNA. Now let's see the amino acylation reaction in detail. The amino acylation is the addition of amino acyl group to the tRNA in this case. We break the amino acyl reaction into steps. First reaction is the adenylation or ampylation. This ampylation is the process of attaching AMP molecule to the amino acid. In this reaction, we see the amino acid and ATP reacts in presence of amino acyl tRNA synthetase enzyme. And from this reaction, we get the amino acyl AMP, or we can say amino acyl adenylate. And also we get two inorganic pyrophosphates. Then happens the transfer reaction, where we have the transfer of amino acyl AMP to tRNA. The amino acyl AMP targets the hydroxyl group of adenine, and we get the amino acyl tRNA and AMP as a product. It's here the CCA sequence of tRNA on 3' prime end, where the hydroxyl group of adenine reacts with amino acyl AMP to get as the amino acyl tRNA. Let's see the mechanism of this reaction in detail. We see in this diagram we have the amino acid, having amino group, carboxylic group on the right, and side chain. The amino acid reacts with ATP in presence of tRNA synthetase or amino acyl tRNA synthetase. Here in this reaction, we see the oxygen atom has got negative charge due to the presence of lone pair of electrons, which mediates the reaction. The carboxyl of amino acid attacks the phosphorus of ATP, as shown in the diagram. In this reaction, two pyrophosphates leave, thereby forming the covalent linkage between oxygen of amino acid and phosphorus of AMP, as shown in the diagram. So we get the amino acyl AMP from this reaction. Now this amino acyl AMP formed has to be transported onto tRNA. This reaction is mediated by two class of amino acyl tRNA synthetases, class 1 and class 2. We have to attach the amino acyl AMP to the adenine of tRNA. Remember we have the CCA sequence at the 3' prime end of tRNA. So we have the adenine of tRNA shown in both the diagrams. We see there are two hydroxyl groups on adenine at position 2 and position 3. The class 2 synthetase catalyzes the attachment of amino acyl group to the 3 position of adenine. Here hydroxyl group reacts with the carboxyl group of amino acyl AMP. The AMP molecule leaves and then amino acyl group is transported directly to the 3OH of adenine, generating the amino acyl tRNA product as shown in the diagram. The same amino acyl AMP in presence of class 1 synthetase reacts with two hydroxyl group of adenine, as shown in the diagram. Here in this reaction, we see the amino acyl group is directly transported to the 2OH of adenine, as shown in the animation, and also AMP is released. But after that, transesterification reaction also occurs. Transesterification moves amino acyl group from 2OH group to the 3OH of the same tRNA residue, 
generating the amino acid tRNA product as shown in the diagram. So we see here amino acids are coupled to tRNA through ester linkages. So this is how the tRNA is charged or loaded with specific amino acids on the A residue at 3' prime and on acceptor arm of tRNA. I hope you like the video. If you like it, give it a thumbs up. Do consider supporting my work on Patreon and also make sure to subscribe to the channel. Thanks.